We are going to tie the BDE bead add hairs ears nymph and it all starts with your hook and your bead. You will stick the uh, point of your hook into the smallest hole on your beads and you will squeeze that onto your vise getting ready to tie. It all begins with your brown tying thread that is in your fly tying kit and you can bring the thread all the way to the back of your hook. First step is to, uh, to use the rabbit strip that is provided in your kit. You want to use maybe one centimeter's length of the strip that you will cut from the strip and the point of those hairs you want to attach them on top of your hook pointing to the back. This is the tail of your fly. And I love to tie all the way to the beads which will help to increase the body width without adding that much material. Once it is done the second material you will tie in is your golden wire. You attach it to once again the whole length of your body and you bring back your thread. Next you simply take a hair's mask that you will cut a teeny little pinch of air and then you will split it into a real small pinch that you will turn between your finger and your thread. And this you would be able to wrap it around your hook which will build the body. And you want this fly to be somewhat bushy. You want this is what is hiding life into a fly. And this is nymph. So remember that nymph does have legs, they do move underwater. So if your fly is a little bushy, uh, these hair that are sticking out will be moving, which will mimic the legs of the insect moving, uh, increasing the illusion of a real bug. You are better to take several small pinch instead of one big pinch. Uh, it's just stronger, will last longer and is easier to, uh, to achieve. And you will add your body all the way to two third of the body length. Once you're there you will simply wrap your golden wire making ribs that will hold your material as well uh, which will increase durability. If you don't have carbide sizer don't cut the wire of course with it uh, but I do have carbide sizer so I can. You next take some turkey wing that is also included into your kit and you attach it to the back of your fly. So right on top of the hook shank. You then keep going with your dubbing to do the thorax of the fly. Thorax is supposed to be a little bit bigger uh, so you can put a, a bit more material onto it, make it more bushy, taking up more space. Which does not mean to take big pinch of uh, fewer. You still take small pinch at a time. Once it is done you just fold to the front, make a couple good turns, trim off the excess and to finish this fly what I love to do is to put uh, a big drop of head cement on top of it 
and then I will do my web finish. So this way, uh, this drop of head cement will be uh, included into my tying thread, making it for a lot more durable fly. So the airs airs bead at nymph, tied and ready to fish.